Navigating protein intake can be confusing, leaving many uncertain about how much protein they should consume daily, per meal, or around their workout. While some say it's only the total protein intake that matters, others argue that maximizing muscle growth is also about protein timing. But what does the science actually say about protein consumption and muscle growth? Let's start by addressing the fundamental question, how much protein do we need per day? According to the World Health Organization, you only need about 0.36 grams of protein per pound of body weight daily. For instance, an individual weighing 180 pounds would require approximately 65 grams of protein daily. While this might suffice for the average sedentary person, individuals striving to build muscle, enhance strength, and achieve leanness will require a bit more at around 0.7 to 1 gram per pound of body weight daily. So if you weigh 180 pounds, you should aim for about 130 to 180 grams of protein per day. That said, those adhering to a calorie restricted diet may necessitate a higher protein range to preserve muscle mass while promoting fat loss. According to research, individuals in a fat loss phase should aim to consume around 0.8 to 1.2 grams of protein per pound of body weight daily. So now that we have a better understanding of how much protein we need daily, let us discuss how much protein we recommend per meal. In the past, we were led to believe that the body could not absorb more than 25 to 30 grams of protein per sitting. However, recent research challenges this notion. Researchers revealed that excess protein consumed beyond this 30 gram threshold was not wasted but rather utilized for tissue repair. Another study published in the Journal of Physiological Reports showed that consuming 40 grams of whey protein stimulates greater muscle protein synthesis than 20 grams. Based on these findings, a protein intake of around 0.2 to 0.25 grams per pound spread across four meals would be ideal. For a 180 pound individual, for example, this would equate to about 35 to 45 grams of protein per meal. The question then becomes, what sources should this protein come from? There are nine essential amino acids that aren't produced by the body and need to be obtained through food. One in particular is leucine. Leucine is considered indispensable for triggering protein synthesis. One study published in the Frontiers of Nutrition Journal comparing different types of supplemental proteins found that milk-based sources far exceeded the plant-based sources in terms of their leucine content. That said, plant-based proteins too have their merit. Personally, I recommend including a variety of protein sources for a more balanced diet. And lastly, does a high protein intake affect kidney function? We've already concluded that we can absorb and utilize more protein than we once thought, but is more protein actually safe? The International Society of Sports Nutrition published a position stand stating that there is no controlled scientific evidence that high protein intakes have any health risk in healthy exercising individuals. In fact, some studies saw protein intakes as high as 2.5 to 3.3 grams per kilogram of body weight per day that had no harmful effects on lipid levels or kidney and liver function. Additionally, the same position statement recommended the importance of protein intake pre and post workout if tolerable. They also stated that a pre-bedtime dose of protein of around 30 to 40 grams can significantly increase protein synthesis while you sleep. In conclusion, consuming enough total protein for the day is crucial. Distributing protein evenly across four to five meals, however, can aid in absorption and digestion. Prioritizing high leucine sources like animal-based proteins and whey supplements can help maximize protein synthesis rates. And while timing protein intake around workouts may offer some benefits, the evidence remains inconclusive. That said, if consuming protein before or after your workout is helping you to achieve your protein goals for the day, then there's absolutely no downside. Did you find this video helpful? If so, click the like button below as it'll truly help out the channel. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe for more videos and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss the next one. Peace.